All right, let's take a look at target 84, solving basic trig function equation sine cosine tangent for x. So sine x equals 1 half is an example as given up here. So what's going on in each of these is that you have x is missing. So you're, you don't know what angle it is. You know the output. It's kind of like when we did functions and we knew what the output was, we didn't know what the input was. You have to figure out what is the input angle that would give me an output of a cosine of negative one-half. Now there's some fundamental things that you need to be thinking about as you're doing this. If you think about the unit circle, as we have here, if the cosine is negative, cosine negative one-half, remember we talked about the coast line, or the cosine is negative, that means I need to go back a short distance. That's what I want, back a short. And then I could be like, okay, well then I'm going to go here or here, and you're going to see that there's going to be two answers to many of these. So then as you look at that, if I go back a short and then up along, I end up here, so the answer would be 120 degrees. Then if I do it again, if I put my pencil back here and I go back a short and down along, then I'm at 240 degrees. So it's at 120 and 240 so 120 and 240, those degree angle measurements would be the answer that I'm looking for. Because if I went to those, the cosine would be negative a half. Next question is, when is the sine square root of 3 over 2? Well, sine rise and sine set. So sine rising the square root of 3 over 2, that means I need to rise a long distance. So I need to go up along. Well, that would be here, and there would be another place where I go up along. It would be right here. So those two would be my two answers that I'm looking to rise up a long distance. So that's what I'm looking for. Square root of 3 over 2 because those are positive. And then it would be 60 and 120 because this is the 60 degree and this is 120 degrees. And so if you take a look right here, the sine is square root of 3 over 2. I mean, you can find that answer. It's 60 degrees. Here's the sine square root of 3 over 2. It's 120. So that is 60 and 120. Now, the next one is tangent square root of 3. That looks a little bit goofy because tangent of square root of 3, in order for that to happen, we must have had the square root of 3 over 2 over 1 half because then if I bring this around and flip it over, those would cancel and I'm left with the square root of 3. So that's a situation where the sine is square root of 3 over 2 and the cosine um, is 1 half. So then I have to look here and find out where is my sine square root of 3 over 2 like this and my cosine is 1 half. So that's at 60 degrees as well. So 60 degrees is there. And then, so that's positive, positive. So a positive divided by a positive makes that. And then if I go diagonally through the unit circle, the same thing would be true down here. Because if I did sine over cosine, it would be negative divided by negative. So that one is 60 and 240. So this one is 60 degrees and 240 degrees. Sine being 1, it's pretty easy. I just look for 1 um, in the sine location. And that only happens at 90 degrees. It's the only one that it does. And so this one's 90 degrees. Okay, and then you just keep going through it and trying to find it. So here is one square root of 2 over 2. Those are both medium lengths, but it has to be negative. So I want to be back over here a medium length distance. And then that's going to be this one and this one. So if I look at my unit circle, back a square root of 2 over 2. So that would be uh, this one here, back a square root. So that's 135. And then down here is back a square root of 2 over 2 as well as 225. So that's 135 and 225. And then the last one is tangent is zero. When do I have, because remember, tangent is sine over cosine. So essentially what I'm looking for is when is zero in the numerator. Zero is the sine. So when do I have zero being the sine? Well, that happens here because at zero, I would have zero as the sine. And it happens over here because I don't have any sine rise or sine set at all. It happens at 180 because I'm not going up or down. So it would be zero and 180 for that as well. So if they have the, x over here and you're looking for the output you just have to figure out what angle would have been in there and many times it's two answers so we've got two answers two answers two answers this one only has one answer and then two answers and two answers so there's a lot of them that you are going to have two solutions for